Hello, everybody. I'm Cheryl Talley Moss. Welcome to my organic food forest. In this episode, I'm going to share with you how I'm transplanting my young tomato seedlings in a raised garden bed in my greenhouse for my fall and winter garden. To the greenhouse so I can plant some tomatoes. And look what I noticed. This is on the purple tomato a complimentary tomato that seed that I got from Baker Creek and I believe probably a hornworm ate all of this so I'm gonna have to look really close and try to find it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant these tomatoes in the uh, raised beds earlier than I normally would because it's the fall and I want to get them started so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove, I can pinch them off, all of the stems until about right here. And we're going to bury this all the way in the ground to about right there. And we're going to do the same thing with these as well. And I gotta find that hornworm because I do not want to be transplanting it into my garden beds. Gotta look at that one. And these right here, these were the best ones. So let's go up to the front. And this is a purple one. And I want a white one. Here's a white one. And then I hope this is emerald green. Yes, it is. We're gonna go up to the front and plant these. I hope you can see. So we put the emerald green right here, and we'll put the purple one right there in that hole, hole right there that I started. I got to get some help to help me get this uh, mini greenhouse out. And here's a white one. We'll put the white one right here. Okay, let's get started. I'll be back after I get them in the ground. I have plenty of videos showing you guys how I transplant the tomatoes. I'll show you this strong root system, and I hope you can see it. It was all the way to the bottom of the container. And if you look all along the stem here, you'll see small fibrous roots. And what I'm going to do is remove all of these uh, branches. And I'm dropping it. Remove all of these branches and then I'm gonna dig that hole deeper and put it in I'll be back so you can look at that closer and you can see that I have buried that very deeply into the soil and now I'm going to do the purple compliment gentlemen I got all of the tomato plants in everything went well I saw a lot of earthworms as I was digging the holes to put the tomatoes I only made one big mistake my sister called me while I was working and I have these two mixed up. So whatever they are, they will rebuild themselves when they make fruit. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna remove um, this greenhouse, that mini greenhouse that'll be on my banana plants. And then I'm gonna cover this with leaf mulch. And hey guys, I'm sorry. It was too hot outside and my phone overheated and cut off. And, you know, that happens sometimes. So this afternoon, I'm going to go back out and I will put the um, tomato cages on the plants and remove uh, that greenhouse I keep talking about, that little small one. And, um, and then I'll show you what else I did. Hey guys, this is Brian. He is my handsome grandson. I pick him up from school occasionally. And he came in and he helped me put, come this way, Brian. He helped me get all of the cages out. And by the way, I'm gonna make this my pearl from Cheryl today. This is what I do. I, when I first put the tomato plants out in the cages, I connect them because their strength in numbers. So this one is connected to here. Those two are connected right there. 
and Brian is going to connect these two right here. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to hook it to there and hook it to here and then push it in. Hey, whatever you do, move back off the bed because you're stepping on carrots. You got it hooked? Yeah. Very good. Give me five. All right. Okay. Mm. So now they're all connected because I connected this one right here. You see? So this one is connected to this one. Number two is connected to number three. And number three is connected to number four. This is the only one that is freestanding. And so what I plan to do is to put another large stake there in the ground. And now, come on, Brian. We're going to connect all three of these together, guys. So remember, their strength in numbers. And if you can plant your tomatoes at least two feet apart, like if you look here, it may not appear to be two feet, but it is two feet from from the distance from here to here and from here to this one here is two feet so that's my tip i could easily get in there and prune but we have high winds in texas so if we can uh connect the tomato cages together that'll give us some strength and another thing i'm going to do is i left the uh red cups here so that i can put the little stakes into the ground all right Okay, like I said, your Pearl from Cheryl. Say bye now. Bye. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye now.